Today, uh, let us look at the book of Luke, chapter 18. Nine to fourteen. Chapter eighteen, verse nine to fourteen. He also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and treated others with contempt. Um, two men went up into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, standing by himself, prayed thus, God, thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithe of all that I get. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even lift up his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the, the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Amen. So here then Jesus was teaching uh, this, with this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and treated others with contempt. contempt. Yeah. So in, yeah, when, uh, when we live uh, with faith, then we, uh, the Christians, we need to be careful uh, to be like this. And then uh, we need to know, uh, we need to understand this uh, teaching of Jesus so that our faith can be uh, right, uh, right way. Um, and we will not go astray. Uh, so here then, Pharisee and tax collector is coming out. Uh, two, these two people are really different uh, in the society. Uh, and then Jesus uh, comparing these two people is very, uh, so uh, yeah, it's uh, really shocking maybe uh, because they are regarded so differently uh, from the people. Yeah, who are the Pharisees? Uh, they were devoted, uh, devoted believers. Uh, they separated themselves uh, for, uh, for following God and keeping the law strictly. So they separated themselves from this world, uh, in this evil world. Yeah. So they need to uh, determine when they join to be a Pharisee, then they need to have this firm determination. Uh, and then they need to vow before they enter to this group. Yeah. So after that, then they have that kind of uh, pride. Uh, I'm, I'm the person who, who are different, separated. Mm. It's not easy to be Pharisee, and you know, it's not something like we can just become Pharisee once and then we come come out. Yeah. But then they were uh, really devoted people. Yeah. So 
And then his, how was his prayer? Uh, 11, verse 11. The Pharisee standing by himself prayed thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. So he, he said that, yeah, he said that, um, I thank you. He was standing uh, by himself. Even here then, he was separating himself. Uh, as they were separating their life from the world. So he came uh, to God um, and he uh, said, that, uh, thank you because I could uh, keep myself uh, to be holy before before you, yeah. not like other people, yeah. not like other sinners. Yeah. Mm. So, um, yeah, he was comparing with other people. Yeah. And then verse 12, he says that, I fast twice a week, I give tithes of all I get. Yeah. So that is how also Pharisees were living. Fasting twice a week and giving tithes to all uh, I get. It is so great, right? Fasting twice a week. Yeah. Uh, he even he did not like take someone's property like the uh, robbers. Uh, he did not uh, do any uh, unrighteous things, and even he was not like uh, adult doing adultery. Yeah, he was a very different person. He was a very great person. Yeah. So, um, but then what he how he was is this, he was living uh, with that pride. Uh, I, I did uh, uh, so well. Yeah. So I am a good person. Yeah. Mm. And then how was the tax collector? Yeah, verse 13. But the tax collector standing far off would not even lift up his eyes to heaven but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. So he said that uh, he was, he says that he could not really stand, uh, stand even near, near the temple, but he was far, he's standing far off. Maybe, maybe he was uh, near the gate or entrance, he could not go uh, in front, but then he was standing far, and then even he could not look up to heaven, thinking that uh, I don't deserve, I'm so uh, ugly sinner. He was just so shame, uh, shameful because of his uh, wrong doings, yeah. his sinful life. Yeah. His, his life was very sinful, yeah, because he, he is a tax collector. At the time, tax, tax collectors, they were very greedy people, and they, were took, they take um, uh, the taxes more than uh, what they supposed to collect. So they, was, they were so corrupted uh, because of their love of money. Yeah. Uh, so he knew, he realized uh, his sin. Yeah. And in his heart, there was uh, this uh, mourning heart, yeah. the, the crying. Uh, he was beating his breast, saying, yeah, be merciful to me, a sinner. Without you, I cannot uh, uh, I cannot live yeah, without you. I'm, I deserve to uh, die, but then I ask your mercy, your forgiveness. I'm a sinner. Please forgive me and have mercy on me. So uh, this, uh, this morning heart, yeah, knowing his sin, 
this is important. Yeah. Yeah, knowing the sin in ourselves, in, in us, is very important. Yeah. Is there anyone who can be boast of their righteousness, perfect righteousness before God? Uh, there is no one. Yeah. We are all the sinners. Even yeah, Apostle Paul, uh, in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 3, he said that we are naturally, we are the, uh, we are the sinners. Yeah. We were living in the great sins. Yeah. So um, we were born with the sins, and then we were doing many sins. So to recognize our sins uh, is very important. Uh, Jesus said that I came to call the sick. Uh, let us read uh, Matthew chapter 9, verse 13. Matthew chapter 9, verse 13. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice. For I came to I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. Okay. So Jesus said that I came to call uh, the sinners, not righteous, not the righteous. So does it mean that God does not like righteous people or only God wants to call sinners. Okay. Uh, but then this is very important to understand. Uh, this, in, uh, the, this parable is really connected. Uh, if we are thinking, I'm righteous enough, uh, I'm righteous enough, and without God, uh, I'm very okay, I can stand, then uh, this is the very um, dangerous. Uh, so Apostle Paul said that when you think that you are standing, uh, be careful not to fall. So when we think that uh, I can stand alone, I have, I'm righteous, uh, I'm good enough, then at that time we can easily fall into sin. Okay. So um, uh, we need to uh, always uh, realize that we are, we are sinners, sinful, and without God's, God's mercy, we, are, uh, we will be remained as sinners. Right? So we need to recognize uh, our insufficiencies, our sins, uh, then we will call the Savior. We will call the doctor. Yeah. Yeah, so Pharisee, uh, they were like that. Um, they were only looking at uh, their good deeds. Yeah. What did they did according to the law? What they kept? Uh, and then only they could, they, they were focusing on themselves. Wow, I, I did this and that. Uh, but then they could not see uh, their sins. Okay. Only they were thinking that I'm righteous, I did this and that. But then there is uh, also the list of sins, what they uh, broke uh, the heart of God, broke the will of God. Uh, even inside of their heart, there could be uh, so many sins. Yeah. But then the Pharisees, they could not look at this part. Uh, only they could see their good part, righteousness. Yeah. So they did not really ask God's mercy and forgiveness. Yeah. They were standing alone. They were standing just like independently. I'm so great. I'm so righteous. Uh, thank you, God, uh, to make me like that, so righteous. Yeah. But then the, the, the end, uh, 
Verse 14, it says that, I tell you, this man went down to this house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Okay. Uh, so, uh, when you, uh, everyone who exalts themselves, if we are proud of our own deeds, our own righteous action, uh, and then we forget about uh, our sinfulness, and then we forget to come to God, asking God's mercy, then we will be remain uh, remaining as the sinners okay, still. But then when we realize our sin uh, deeply, and then when we really realize yeah, what is my sin, yeah, how, we are, how, how I am insufficient, yeah, when we know it, and then when we realize that I can't uh, really um, do something great, yeah, but because of God's mercy and God's love, yeah, God's guidance, yeah, because of there is that mercy of God, the guidance of God, uh, even though I am a uh, very insufficient and uh, sinful, but then because your grace uh, is, is always with me, that's how I'm here. Uh, if we know, if we understand and realize it, then with that, um, Grace, we, if we come before God asking that grace and mercy of God, forgiveness of God, then God will accept us. Yeah. God will uh, forgive us and uh, justify us. Yeah. So um, when you become, when we become proud of ourselves, yeah, then we are still. Uh, remaining as a sin sinners. Okay. So we need to be humble before God. Uh, and then we need to focus on the grace of God. Okay. We need to remember how God's grace uh, upon us. Okay. Instead of what I can give Him. Okay. Uh, even though doing good things uh, for God is it's good, but then we cannot really give God something so great, yeah, so uh, so that God can be so like um, thankful for us. Yeah. Uh, our things, what we are doing, is something so small, but then because of the God's grace, then um, we can uh, we can stand before God and we can do uh, God's will. Yeah. So uh, we should not be arrogant. We should not be proud of ourselves. Yeah. Uh, our life is because of God. We are here. Yeah. We need to be dependent. Yeah. So mankind, we are the being, uh, uh, dependent being. Yeah. If we, we become independent, we are thinking that I can do everything then uh, we can fall and um, uh, we, can dis we can go astray. Yeah. So uh, because of love, we we supposed to uh, receive the love of God and mercy of God. And that's how we can uh, be, um, we can be uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but then without God, our life will be um, miserable and uh, we cannot really live uh, well. Uh, so we need to know uh, that uh, we need the God's grace and God's mercy and forgiveness. And then when we are trying to um, come before God, knowing our sinfulness and uh, 
our insufficiencies and then we um, uh, like this tax collector uh, beating his chest and then uh, asking God's forgiveness and mercy. Uh, so when we have this heart, then God will accept us. Uh, so I hope we can come before God with this heart, a broken and humble heart, knowing our sins and uh, repentance, uh, so that our life can be, uh, our prayer can be uh, accepted by God and we can be justified. So yeah, let us pray together. Our Heavenly Father, oh, we thank you for this time. Thank you for your word. Uh, as we are living, uh, believing in you, uh, we don't want to fall uh, into the uh, sin of pride and arrogancy, arrogance, um, only looking at ourselves and be confined in our self-righteousness, but we want to come before you humbly uh, and honestly, knowing our insufficiencies and our sins. Uh, but uh, so that like this tax collector who was broken before you uh, and who uh, realized his great sin and uh, confessed and asked your mercy, uh, he could receive uh, the justification. We want to, uh, we want to uh, receive the justification by you uh, as with uh, our uh, humble prayer. Uh, Father, please help us uh, to, uh, to come to you right away. Uh, and we want to live uh, in you and by your help and grace always. So please help us to have the right uh, faith uh, before you. We thank you for this time, and I pray it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.